It's a new day. Hey. Um, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. This. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand. Asuki reaches up to nudge Sari off her head. Mmm. Sari suddenly leans down and takes a bite of her. <laughs> yes. Hey! Did you seriously just do <laughs> Mouth all three trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori where is Monica? Susie goes around and Monica is in the clubroom. Oh, she's playing piano and learning soprano because that's what she does. Uh, where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have you any heard about anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Why would I know anything about Monica? Fucking Rita. <laughs> that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. I hope she's not. Of course she's okay. She's just losing her mind because she's not meant to exist. And doesn't get a happy ending. She probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Probably got a boyfriend. I don't think she she has a ah. Would it be surprised? She's probably most desirable than all of us of mine. <laughs> ah, that's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, <laughs> there you are. You know, I I was in um something class and I didn't hear the bell, that's about it. Monica chose to come over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed. B boyfriend. <laughs> what are you talking about? Monica quizzically glasses at me. I don't know if that's how you say it, because I've never heard of that word, I'm not gonna lie. Uh never mind that. Where held you up anyway? Oh dude, that actually that combination. Mm. Lemon and uh other food. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. Uh, well, you see, I um practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. You know, I was soprano. As is normal. Uh, I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. <laughs> That's so cool. Fun fact, Monica's one eighteen and 19 at the same time. <laughs> That's so cool. You should probably play something with Monica. Monica. Monica looks at me. Don't look at me, because you're always looking at me. Wait, wait, she just looked away. Maybe I get a little bit better when I will. Yay, that sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. No, you wouldn't. Is that so? In that case, she then writes a full fucking song called Your Reality. And then, yeah, murders everyone. I won't lead out. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Where did everyone else go? <laughs> ah! I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. <laughs> I've been the whole <laughs> I see. In that case, best of luck. <laughs> Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Um, Better not bring up the cookie shenanigans. No, not really. I choose to leave out serious mischievous as speedy. I'm sure the cookie was up plenty to anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Ah, sorry, somehow I already finishes her entire cookie. Yuri's back to the book, and the cookie dear is in the closet. <coughs> Conspicuous. Conspicuous. The only something comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? <laughs> supplies? What for? <laughs> well, you know, the best was coming up. <laughs> We're gonna die. Um, so we need to go find some crayons and markers and glue stick. It just seems really childish for, like, they're all high schoolers, right? Right? I don't know. They're <laughs> all 18, quote unquote. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Michael, back soon. Are you almost free? <laughs> Just should be back soon. Hello, I'm here. So you need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Ah, oh, but I wanted to go. So much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay. Okay. Ready, his wiki was. Okay. She blames you for not hanging out with her yet. <laughs> she lets Sayori <laughs> go with you, so fucking redone. Siri and I exit the club room. I follow like behind a Siri hums and skips around the hallway, honestly. It feels like I'm tracking a kid to the mall. Ta Why am I tracking? I'm taking. <laughs> Finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Mm. Hey, Siri, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how to make an event out of wood. <laughs> Me and Mark have full. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to go poetry performance. Performance? Of what kind? Well, we're all going to choose a poem and take turns on a stage and recite the 
freaking poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Conspicuous. You're not thinking about the right way at all. It's not just about... Wait, have I actually started recording? Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, I did. I thought I didn't. Oh, God. It's about to form them. Um, like you say, the lines of poem, like, uh, between my feet. What? Between your legs. I don't want to know what's between your legs. Uh, the last and rainy flowers beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Careless in your final choice moment between my fingers. But to what end have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the one prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Silence. Like that. Say, Audi. I need with this. I'm not trying to be impossible. I'm serious. When you talk with that. Eh. You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Ah, I know, I know. It's just a pretty of an ordinary contrast for each cell. Ah, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. But I guess it means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so excited. The festival's going to be so much fun. Sorry he spins herself around in the hallway again. Thanks for your so if you want like a, a childish relationship, you got Sayori, so that's something. This classroom over here is empty. If you want a relationship where you get abused by your wife, that's Nasuki. You want a relationship where you abuse your wife, that's Monica. You want a relationship where it's equal, that's... <laughs> that's Yuri. Uh, let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this, but in the end she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a bull of sunshine during happy vibes. <laughs> around around her. Pretty nostalgic feeling for me. Other uh, years went by, I began to hold myself up in the room. And eventually, so it brings the best sort of feeling I have in me. <laughs> the two of us enter the classroom. So I head straight to the closet and I follow. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That's nothing wrong. Let's see what we have in here. <laughs> crayons. Sorry, pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. Um, I'm trying to think of that one crayon brand. They're kind of dirty though. Sorry, starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. All right, that's one. Don't get distracted. I still need to find. Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. What's her favorite color? Pink or something? And no, no, no. Her favorite color is probably like red or I don't know. At least we decided on this for the first paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack. Yeah. <laughs> So he bends over, inspects her forehead right into the shot. Oh, wait, yeah, this is the second scene. She falls to the floor and the crowns spill all over her lap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's like, um. Yoshi? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, wait, no, no. I don't know. You okay? My forehead. Suri clutches her forehead. Gee, Suri, that's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. So Suri is sitting on the floor. I grab her by the waist and pull her up. <laughs> you have to move your hands, Suri. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Ah, uh, Sari so slowly releases her hands from her forehead. You know, I probably should screenshot these just for memories. Memories. I uh, gently brush her... What? Oh, okay. Uh, I read that wrong. Ow. Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of my forehead. Your whole head's red. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's going to swell up. I should find you some ice. Conspicuous. Where would you even find ice around this time? The local drugstore. Ah, I guess the cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even when human pants only makes a silly joke. Ah, what do you say? Right back here. Wait, no, I didn't look at the brand of the crayons! <laughs> ah. I pat Sari on her shoulder and run into the hallway and look at the nearest vending machine. What should I get? Doesn't really matter since I've used the nice pack rather than the treat. But I know Sari likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. I'm not going to run your training last week where I left Sari. Sari necks herself. Alright, what? Oh, they don't have a brand. They're just 24 crayon and that's it. And her forehead and as long as the other hand comes to scoop the crayons back into the box. I don't like Sari much, so this isn't really. <coughs> At least they were in the wrong spot before I spilled them. Sorry, here, I have to the bottom of apple juice. Well, that just appeared in her hand, that's creepy. Dude, it's sand, she's got one blue eye. I had, uh, it's nice and cold. Sorry, opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sorry, what are you doing? It's a forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, one minute. Fuck it, I'm um, bumping your hand. It stings. Just bear with it. We're better soon. I'll let you clean up most of the crowns, so that's good. Hey, it's big, you is. It's kind of doesn't it? Eh, what do you mean? 
I don't have nostalgic vibes, you know, when we used to play outside all the time. I always try to keep up. You're kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually feel behind or had trouble climbing up things you did. Sometimes when I tried to do things, I couldn't get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quickly as you could. Don't cry. This is where it starts to get deep, and I don't like this. Um, this is just blame yourself and your friend of getting in trouble. Sometimes I do Even if it's not your fault, you know. Did I really do that? Yeah, you remember. Come on, I think of it. Remember a bit. I guess I was a special game time. I expected it to be. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of what it's mine too. It's a rushing pause that you probably wouldn't have hit. Conspicuous. Should I have gone for a more generic name, like... No, no. <laughs> even after all these years, you're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really s sweet. Uh, yeah, don't, don't call me that. I even do this kind of thing all the time, I guess, when it comes to you. Yeah. I want to learn guitar. I guess when it comes to you, it feels natural. Before I even know, I'm training you like that. Okay. Why is she still sitting down? <laughs> you know what? Not a question. I guess that's what happens when you French or something. Really? Maybe you're right. Conspicuous. I'm so glad you're nothing to change between us. Do you think you'll be like this forever? Forever. Ha! I wish. Well, not not really, but... I mean, I'd rather have someone than no one, right? <laughs> if I'm honest to myself, there's no telling. Wait, you go from college or after that. Ha! Ah, college! <laughs> you mean death. So it wouldn't be fair to make any promises, but... Well, I hope so. It's big against this already, right? I can't imagine you ever change. Where is Monica? You know Monica's just watching somewhere. I'm so happy. There is this whimsical oppression in her eyes. I don't know if that's how you say it. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the other side. When you see her in a deep thoughts like this. Okay. It makes me want to not disturb her. I guess we should go back. <laughs> I wouldn't worry Monica, you know. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide under my... Bangs. Sorry, hops to her feet. Ah! She clashes her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast, my face. Yo, don't you hate when you stand up so fast and then you, like, pass out because blood is, like, rushing to your head and shit? I don't know. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Shiro to the classroom. So many places with bangs to try and hide the bump without being much sad. In a moment, we make it back to the classroom. Ah, you're back. Thought. <laughs> Good timing. I was just about ready to start sharing up poems or so your fair head. <laughs> She's fine, don't worry about it. I was playing with ground to smack her forehead on the shelf. Uh well anyway. <laughs> we able to find anything hang on, I need to take off my hoodie, it's fucking hot. Oh, uh, well I have it right. Oh fuck. She doesn't have it. Eh. <laughs> Sorry friends because it's around herself. I forgot all the stuff. Calm down, Sayori. I have it all right here. I found the post paper too. <laughs> Get an eye ch color change or f what are they called? Contacts. Get them like maybe, I don't know, amber. Get amber. Then I might appreciate you more. Sounds like you're not doing all the work, conspicuous. Okay, shut the fuck up. Uh, well, Siri, I failed to come up with an excuse for Siri. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Pull out your glocks, aim them at the wall, and... Yeah. I ready to show you poems. Did I actually write a poem? Guess I should grab mine. I'll make sure the crayon box is uh, uh, I guess I did make a poem. Um, I'll show Monica first this time, because she's a bitch. Hang on. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. I'm happy with you applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with your masterpiece. <laughs> I would have counted that. You never know. Want to show what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. <laughs> it's pretty good. It makes me think of Siri. Like, I think they wrote... You two are like a dynamic duo. Hmm. That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you just spend a time with me. Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shy. It's just... No, I actually... Hmm. Ah, I'm just easing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. Friends are 
people that you trust and care about. Ah. Uh, but you're in ancient people, so don't be afraid to give them a share of time. You, you, okay. So, she embraces you to go and speak with everyone else. But then when you get to, like, the final bit where it's, like, just Monica. And you're just stuck in that infinite loop of where she just stares at you. She's like, you should have spent more time with me, you fucking bitch. <laughs> and then you can talk to me Oh, wait, here we go. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. Yeah. You know. Unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, green eyes, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing like that. I'm just still gonna use being here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or something. I kind of broke into a Mickey Mouse voice then. Oh, I really didn't mean it like that. Uh, no, I. Mickey Mouse. Well, all right, but anyway. You got any problem now? I'll get that All right, let's take a look. All right. Save me! The colours, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colours. Piercing, red, green. Yeah, alright, this is basically her. This is what she sees when you turn off the game and shit. Yeah, foreshadowing, I get it. Noise, the noise, it won't stop. Violent, getting away from spring creatures, piercing. So I like playing a chunk while I'm like playing a chunk of crust. What? Playing a... I can't read that. On a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Yeah, <laughs> your life is meaningless. Even though you don't actually have one, but yeah. Hmm, it's even more abstract than the last one, huh? <laughs> So she said, wait, did she just glitch out? I don't know. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. No, I never said that. So it's kind of thing I've never really done before, I guess. It's just kind of playing with my space on the paper. Ah, uh, you mean your... Well, it's almost like magic. The way I read the line, sure makes feel like trying to speak over the noise. I see, it's still hard to tell me what's going on. Ah, ah, Sometimes asking for problems isn't the right question. It's about her. Poem can be a strict physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. Are you going to give me the tip of the day? So putting it in that way. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Save your games. When that happens, don't forget. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You never know. You might change your mind. <laughs> or when something else is unexpected. Wait. <laughs> is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll go to, uh, <laughs> Nisuki. Hmm, well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Whew! Phew, what? Ah, uh, well, I think it's a train wreck. I just like to take it as a win, and I get feeling the problem is critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? Ah, glad to see someone recognize my experience. Well, I can keep asking maybe you're going to repeat someday. That's, uh, yeah, sometimes tells me that humans miss the point. Come on, think of it. Reminds me of Sarah's poem from yesterday. Eh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess it was my friends, but I like you might be the same wavelength. But it really struck me as her type. Zuri is a type all of a sudden. What? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone be so ever, so, uh, fluffy, spend so much time with someone like you? <laughs> it's like she's dragging around a dead weight. You call me dead weight, you fucking bit. <laughs> uh, that was a little unnecessary. But, think of things, yeah, that pretty was, that was unnecessary, I should have said she was dead bitch. Um, probably just fly away, like letting off of a balloon, you could say, you could send her away. Whatever, it's, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm just showing my mom, <laughs> here, let's see. Amy likes spiders, you know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders, icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders, that's why I'm afraid of friends with her. Uh, basically, I think that's Yuri she's referring to. Amy has a cute singing voice, I heard her singing my favorite love song every time she's hanging from the at my heart with pound. But she likes spiders. Yeah, I think uh, that's referring to Yuri in horror or something. That's why I'm not friends with her. Blah, blah, blah. One time I heard my really hurt man. Amy helped me and took my initiative. So I tried to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so I had a proper crow. So I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see them. All I know is the poems have really deep meaning and I don't see it because that's me. Amy's my friend. Doesn't matter if she has hobbies. Doesn't matter if she keeps it private. Doesn't matter if she has really large tits. Um. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without Yuri. And I'm going to tell everyone. Um, I think there's something to do with dad abuse in there as well. I don't know. Not bad, right? <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. It was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, that message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I ever explain it. Sometimes you can explain confidence in most similar... Being like anyone else on the street subject poem is an ignorant joke. Do you know people like that? Yeah, I'm an ignorant joke. Of course, it's about the new people thinking. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It could be anything. I wrote it to be. 
That might have some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. You're in your pen. Um, something that you're afraid of people finding out and they make fun of you. I think. Well, you got Yuri in her pen, and then he got her cutting herself. But I mean, then again, that's basically everyone today. Um, but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone else likes as long as they're not hurting anyone? Oh yeah, she she knows about Yuri cutting herself. That's right. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people. Mm. So what I do best after all, I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think it's not just feel. Remember that. <coughs> I'm not going to write a good one for tomorrow, so I look forward to it. Well, I guess we can only show it to Yuri and then say Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going to share these around. Well done. Your skills are already improving. Oh yeah, because I did get a few Yuri ones, but... Mm -hmm. Really? Thanks, Yuri. I don't know. Is it said Yuri, or is it like got like the Russian Yuri accent sort of thing? Judy, I don't know. Eh, I mean, I know it's Japanese, right? But they don't look Japanese. But I mean, if they did, no one would probably like the art style. No offense. Um, I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. You know, I like things like it seems like a good poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of kids. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's the one way it's going to be read into your mind. Yeah, she's telling you more about the poems. Um, It's very, even, it, and that was like referring to, I think, Monica's poem because she sees, like, the colors and shit and sound and stuff. But I see. That's certainly an interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example. You'd like to read it, of course. This is the poem you wrote for today. Yuri nods and timidly hands me the poem. Uh, the raccoon. It happened in the den of night. Was guilty snack. My attention was caught by scudding a raccoon out my window. That's, I believe, first time I noticed my strange tendency as an unknown human. I can't even remember my bread. I'm pretty sure that the raccoon is like the knife and a piece of bread is her skin. Um, it's like a reference to her cutting herself, that's all. Uh, but a beauty of cutting knife, yeah. Okay, no, wait, no, where the knife is the knife. And the raccoon is... Uh, blah blah blah. Show me assignment to rush blood. Conditioning slice of bread. Feel my feet my saving it. Okay, so the knife is the knife. The bread is obviously her, and then the raccoon's like her obsession. <laughs> um, I was a little more daring with one yesterday. Does she only cut one wrist? I don't remember. I don't remember. Metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault. I can't imagine what the poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my period when it's out. Okay, that really annoys me every time I see that. Using the poems as a kind of just vivid imagery <laughs> and conveying emotion through them. Yeah, if you take value and then people are not supposed to mean, well, I think it's something that's different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express, don't they have that, like, each woman has their own font, but they look similar? I know you're used to something. It's sort of... Oh, that's funny. Uh -huh. Didn't the Suki also write something about that? Also about something being ridiculous and strange of interest? Yeah, because it's about Yuri cutting herself. Yeah, we get it. Eh? She she did? Yeah. Thing is that... Nasuki knows, but she doesn't tell anyone. She was talking about how it doesn't matter whether in someone is as long as you're hurting anybody. She, she's right. Uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you have anything in common. That's well, that's well, interesting. Seems to be the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose it's my fault judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Ah, uh, don't worry, I have no reason to. Ah, uh, well, thank you for sharing it with me. Ah, uh, I haven't learned to brace my own weakness and I can probably hate myself. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm glad you're a good listener. For you, anything. Ah, uh, see, Yori. Conspicuous, yes, that's me. I really love your poems. I can't believe you could be hiding these from me. Eh, I'm not hiding anything. You can take it. Your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one's too. You can't tell me you have not done this once. I mean, an alternate or a parallel universe, actually. It wouldn't be alternate. It'd be parallel. Oh, wait. Would it be alternate? Because I got the bad ending. Would that be alternate? I don't know. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so. Eh. No way. Not even a Suki. Well, I guess a Suki is only just going to admit it, but how much do you like something? But I don't think that's it. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. 
It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean you're a really impressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? Ah, <laughs> relatable. But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. You know, just little things like cooking. Let's not talk about that. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> so yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings for it. So we have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting into business all the time. Eh? I don't even know if I understand. Sorry. You never understand when I'm trying to explain things to you, Siri. I pat Siri's head. Well, no, she's not a lolly. Can't pat her. Wait, oh, the lolly medal. Hmm. You can pat my hand and pinch my cheeks, but you better not beat me. Ah, hey, I'm not a kid, you know. <laughs> Literally referencing to a lolly. Um, are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe. She starts filling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, can I speak to you? Is will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Cause I mean, I don't care. It's not even me. Yeah. Exclamation mark. Sorry, you completely misunderstood. Now I'm fucking misunderstood. <laughs> I don't write this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you and go home. Really? Snap. Ah. I broke my pencil. A little bit excited. Sorry. I hastily bends down to pick up the... Am I going to say something that I think I'm going to say? But being in sensory of a surrounding, she bumps right into me. So, sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. So he crushes the desk beside her to support his knee. It's shaking. I don't look up today. <laughs> Let's sit down and see what he's... Yeah, I'll go to see what he's on. I'll come and sit down. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that, but it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure you'll like it. Alright, bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. Uh, it's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine will allow me to get them the benefits of kittens. I read them inside my thumb and for it. Buck one out to warm tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. I put balls in. This is about her mind and shit. And depression. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. My collection makes me feel as a friend. It's bottle straight to me. Sometimes it's friends a certain way. Down. Um, I'm bottle safe day and night after the day. I'm more in between half of the day. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering secrets, hiding nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scrubbing and smashing, and blowing my dust. <laughs> Finally, all done. I open up and I'm on like a red and holding a charge of friend, everybody. Yeah, that's basically just about her depression and loneliness and shit. Holy crap. Sarah, did you really write this? Of course I did. I told you I'd be like doing the best one ever. Yeah, but I mean I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch. Haha, <laughs> Monica taught you a whole lot. You shouldn't have been listening to that bitch. Oh, uh, see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. So you do think Monica's creepy. Aha, uh -huh, I know it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Maybe because I'm used to being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I think too hard about it. Pointers came out good, you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. How long have I been recording for? Ah, almost 30 minutes. Beautiful. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Yeah, feelings, see, depression. Writing's like magic. You've got pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> so you always the habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it a week later. I wonder if it's one of those times. Seeing passion in her eyes makes it hard. Okay, everyone, I just appeared out of nowhere and you all look at me. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if you can sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Yes, we have to recite poems, and now Yuri is going to be embarrassed. Ah, uh, do we have anything the festival? It's not like we can put anything good in just a few days. Well, there's some apparently stuff, so we have any new members. It's a concern, mine as well. I'm going to do the last bit of preparation. Don't worry so much. I'm going to keep it simple, okay? We won't want to do much for decorations. Sorry, I'm going to I designed some halfers. Go to the head. Okay, that's great, all, but it's time to actually do for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're all going to be performing. Performing? Yes, reciting a poem. Uh, Monica, yeah, we're all going to have a poem performance. Each of us is going to poem recite during the event. Ah, but the cool part is we're all going to let everyone else come and recite poem too. <laughs> oh, give me a minute. <gasps> 
So he's putting it on the post just in case everyone's a pair out of time. <laughs> so who wants to be coming up post holds up for us to see? Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't start putting his posters up on did you? Eh well I did. Do you think it's a bad idea? Well no. It's not a bad idea, but I just didn't sign up for this shit. There's no way I'm gonna perform in front of a group of people. Yuri kicks in. I agree with Nasuki for once. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it. Yuri shakes her head in Viet. It's Again, it's a still image. I can't feel the emotions. Guys, no, Sarah. <laughs> I understand where they're coming from. Remember that? It's a, yeah, you never said it before. A couple of days ago, it's like a lot of fast and pumps. I'm sorry. But I still think we should do it and give it our best, yeah. <laughs> This music gets stuck in your head. Well, I guess it's six hours of pure pain and so. Where the only one from this club? Fate. <laughs> fate. I let fate decide my fate. <laughs> then I will inspire others to do the same, and then more people will perform. The better to be able to. Literature. Yeah. It's all about expressing your feelings, being. <laughs> Give me a minute. <gasps> What the fuck was that? Mm, even it with yourself, yep. Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. That's responsible. So we're all going to the club today. Don't you want to share it with others to inspire them to find some fame feelings more you hear in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And all it takes is standing around the poem in two minutes of reciting a poem. Then I know we can do it. Mm. Mm. Okay, again, Yuri stands forward, but she's always looking to the side. Monica, she's just always facing forward. She really looks worried, I guess, that leaves me no choice. I volunteer as tribute. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Sir and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Mm, looks like Sue doesn't have any arguments left. Hmm. Gamer girl juice. Okay, fine. I'll have to go over with. Alright. Phew. Yuri, what's about you? Eh. Yuri detects with glances around at everyone. I guess if I have to... I don't really have a choice. Um, you're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Haha! <laughs> Foreshadowing! Haha! <laughs> Fucking... Hate Monica. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway... Let's move on the main event. <laughs> he said he choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice fighting in poem. No, no, no way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Who knew? Don't worry. Start by helping everyone feel less comfortable. Gotta go next. Aha, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook, spits in poem, she's mine herself. She stands in poem, starts reciting it. The way they fly. Ahem. <laughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Everyone starts clapping. More than in the first scene, play scene, she knows exactly how to play from behind these lines. Blah, blah, blah. Something she saw before is simply unnatural. I glance around. Wait, I glance around. Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone has their eyes on Monica. Mm, I need more lemon. Sorry, he looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the reunion. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. <gasps> that. That was so good. Monica, uh, uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping you could get a good symbol. Are you really going to go next to you? I'll, I'll go next. Big chest. Ah, uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. You only clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands at, oh, I thought it was going to be a chest or something, but okay. Um, keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. The podium is called, uh, the poem, fuck. You anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. Yeah, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes and starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she was practically refused to this, but now she's like, putting so much effort. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes, becomes deeper, absorbed into it. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. See? See? <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> the poem is full of twists and turns and structure. It's just yet perfect timing and something. And she's Kate's. I don't know. 
Sponge and Wrinkle. I'm, just... I'm not an English, alright? Whirling fire, Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back to reality and glances about Eminem's mother and her spaghetti. Uh, she's bewildered herself. I start applauding to make it less awkward. It's up to me to save the situation. If I start applauding, everyone joins me. I'm oh, recognition she deserves. Ooh, recognition. <laughs> that word. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we just caught off so guard that she must have forgotten. We applaud Yuri, holds upon to her chest, and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Um, <clears throat> Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. So, Yuri hops out of the chair and she'll be forced to pull. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sorry, I goof. Yeah. Say worry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah. I'm trying to think of it. You're re reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head. Uh, yeah, you do that a lot, don't you, Monica? <laughs> yeah, crazy bitch. It's your palm, so it'll come out the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Ah, she begins a poem. Somehow, it feels like a soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimless to be sure you like it. So is. It sends a bit of sweet. A little bit of depression. If I was to read this paper, uh, uh, yep, uh, I'd probably think much of it. But here it comes in from it almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sarah meant when she's like some a poem. She's like a room deep in someone I thought knew her. She sure finishes, and we applaud. I did it. Good job, so Ori! Ri! No, it should be. Instead of just Sayori, just Sayori! <laughs> Even conspicuous liked it. I really hate that. But I mean, I'm already like two hours into the game now. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. Did she get taller? The atmosphere of this poem fits you really nice. <laughs> Gotta deliver. Oh, wait, yeah, she did get taller because it zooms in on who's talking. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems. Loki, they're pretty fucking short. I think Monica's only five foot three. What you're reading. Oh, I don't know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing this kind of thing. She's very much in front of everyone. I'm like five foot eight, five foot nine. Eh. Yeah. Next time I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have time for the first one, you know. Okay. Who's next? Nasuki, hmm, don't make me go for conspicuous, at least make, um, mm, but yeah, standards, lower everyone's standard, that's what I was thinking, because Nasuki's that, it's fine, it's fine, I might as well get it over with, <laughs> but it's not going to have much selection to want to read, I'll just go with what I wrote for that. I stand up and I start reading singular words, because that's all I write as poems, singular words, <laughs> everyone has their eyes on make me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem, since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it, despite the fact that once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it. So much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about the lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright, then. That just leaves you, Nasuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Nasuki ber 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 I don't know. Gets out of her seat, makes her way into the podium. <laughs> the podium is called, it's called My Dad Abuses Me. Why are you looking at it? Because you're reciting a poem. Hmm. Anyway, the poem's called Jump. Oh yeah, that's right, Jump. Take a breath. Once she stops out the poem, her attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's six straight by stars, so might as well expect out loud. The work for like bounce up and down if you give a knife to the poem. New circuit finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. Thought. <laughs> you better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough for that poem? I, it'd be easier doing it with strangers. I can do whatever face I want in other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Suzuki. I think it would be a better way around for me. Oh, man. Six hours of reading. Can this get me, like, a trophy or something? Ah! <laughs> Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the first of all. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming, though. It might be hard, but I don't know if I'm ready to make sure you pick a poem. Are you going to give us a writing tip of the day or something? Or you just... Jeez, I should probably wait. No, I've already got the writing tip of the day. I'm fucking moron. She just said, save your game. <laughs> That's fine, too. <laughs> I can just imagine that Monica with the curb at the frog voice. I'm already pleasantly surprised at putting all this effort into the club. It makes me really happy. Well, static dress. Must get those from Amazon Prime or some shit. 
Makes me really happy. Ah, yes, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. Sayori, where are you? Do not neck yourself yet, but let's try to perform some tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nice, so I'd like to continue that. So the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll we get pro. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright, why did I just go for a fucking text? I don't know, stand up. Oh, I'll be able to finish the enthusiasm in Surrey Monica, but I'll do the best to get through it. <laughs> it's the sake of the club, but impressing Monica. What? I don't want to impress Monica, you dumb bitch. Then I'll have to do my best. <laughs> Ready to go, Yuri? Yeah! Look at you two, always coming home from like that. Normally it's, uh, Yuri that's there, but I think because I had words that appealed more to that bitch. Yeah. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Oh, well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get fucked, Monica. You're behind everyone. <laughs> that's a screenshot. That's a screenshot. She's behind everyone. Well, ah, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, it's because you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's just go already. I love how they just stare at me. Uh, even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today's series being a little quieter than usual on the way home. I just realized this is going to take a lot longer than six hours. This is going to be, like, a lot. Because I have to then go right back to the start of the game. Then go Nasuki's route, go through all her dialogue, get her cutscenes, and I gotta go to Yuri and then just complete the game. Then, hopefully, when I restart it, Siori doesn't go mad with power and just says, Sure, you can come back any time, but you can't come back because. Mm. Hey, Siori! Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we're getting to. I mean, Siori fumbles with her own words. So let's just say one day Yuri asks to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kept putting me on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if I was gonna be honest, I would go with Yuri, but I think for this route, I have to choose Yuri. Oh wait, I don't remember. Hang on, we'll see what happens. I don't know why it's a blank screen. I'd walk home with Yuri. You really think I'd ditch you for Yuri? Eh? She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I heard it's here in the club every day. Besides, you've always been. <laughs> I wouldn't let us ruin that for you. You're such a silly conspicuous. You think for me so much time. Mary would deserve it. She wanted to. So. She would. <laughs> <laughs> I already made my mind. I really can't figure it out since I'm sorry. Uh, besides, what's the point of speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. Conversation trails off. It's kind of weird the thing that they care so much about, but I want to respect it. <laughs> Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Oh wait, was I meant to choose Yuri so that I go to Yuri's place? <laughs> I hate the fact that I can't tell what's what. Alright. Um, suicide. <laughs> Shame? Uh, wrath. Special. Anime, that's that weeb. Infinite shiny. Nope. Fuck. Lollipop is food. No. Okay, I've already fucked up. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't care. Alright. Um. She likes to twirl. No, she doesn't. Fuck me. I actually hate my luck right now. Jumpy forgive nibble. I'll do which nibble. Oh my god, I am actually so fucked. Um, anxiety. Oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> pleasure? No, that's a Yuri thing. Of course pleasure's a Yuri thing. Why wouldn't pleasure be a Yuri thing? Ha 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 Pen. Why is this so hard? Uh, sensation skipping? No, that sounds like a fucking nerd thing. A tone? Question? Peaceful. That's the thing. Destiny. Shopping. Beauty. Wrath. Whirlwind? Nope. Of course that's a Yuri thing. Socks? Nope. They've each got one now! Haha, <laughs> ha, this don't hurt. Okay, uh... Suicide? Nope. Of course suicide's a Yuri thing. Uh, happiness. Smile. Raindrops. Fuck. If I get too many Yuri ones, I'm gonna cry. 
pure. No. Play? That sounds like a childish thing, yeah. Fun. Nature. Papa? That's a... That's a... <laughs> that's a... <laughs> pain. Desire. Feather. Um... Flee or dark? Explode. Nope. Okay, Yuri's that person then. Death. Heartbeat. Bed. Definitely bed. That's a Yuri word, I know that. <laughs> Daydream. Forgive. Kwai. I don't know how you say it. Uh, milk. Milk. Uncontrollable. <gasps> Intellectual crimson heaven sent landscape. Ah, uh, frightening. Fuck. <laughs> Party. Alright, please. I think that was just enough to be Sayori. Oh man. Creeper. <laughs> I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Can you practice piano again? <laughs> In my hand, there's a pen that'll write a poem. Yeah, okay, we get it. <laughs> he must have a lot of determination. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Let's get it off that sense. <sighs> in this world of infinite choices, that's stuck in my head. Um, you want to help out festival too? Ah, I can't wait for the festival. I'm gonna be so great. Eh? Were you complaining about it just yesterday in the city? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we won't play and eat all our kinds of delicious food. It sounds a bit like cereal all of a sudden. Market? Do they usually have fried squid? It's, I don't understand this joke to this day. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? What do you mean? What do you mean? You of all people? Because it's right in your name, Mon. Ica. I don't know if. I don't, I don't understand that. It's probably Germany. See, like, not even she understands it. <laughs> Ugh, never mind. Let's just focus on the event. <laughs> Fun as Yuri's or Sayori's. Anyway. Excuse me. Where is Yuri anyway? Ah, oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori! You really shouldn't have been listening to Monica. Eh. He's spacing out again. Ah. Eh. Sorry. Don't mind the bees. I'm not talking to anyone else. Eh. Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It feels like you're a little off. Assuming things. Jeez. You worry too much about me. I'll find and see. Sure he shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I hurriedly glanced at Siri before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed. With everyone back at their usual activities, maybe I should ask Mona if she's noticed anything about Sayuri recently. She's never been preparing festival, they must know it's been time. Timidly, Manuska suffering papers. What's up? Hey, I thought you would know, because you're like her friend and stuff. Maybe I'm reading a little too much in it, but seems a little downcast. Oh, uh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Mike appears across the room at Sayuri, who's idly dragging a rubber up and down a desk. Maybe there's something in her mind, but I'm sort of surprised it's you. I know a lot more than I do. I know, it's important to me to transfer. That was the worst fucking idea. She said, I don't want to be left alone. She sure like she said, I don't bring up my interest. What do you mean by that? Say, maybe it's not mine as you, conspicuous as me. How on earth did you come to that conclusion? I don't know. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say too much, but... <laughs> 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 ah, she's been so much happy after she joined the club. It's like, I don't feel like it's turned on. So if I didn't join the club, no one would die, so... God. So... Be tortured and go to anime club with a bunch of, like, nerds, or... Go to a literacy club with some attractive women and then they all die. Uh, <laughs> no way. She was always like that. She's always been... It's <laughs> only different... <laughs> So funny. You thought maybe you're not actually having a because that's just how much you don't have to do. 
I'm sorry, I don't want to do it anymore. I couldn't care at this moment. How long have I been recording for? 50 minutes. Fuck me. Alright, Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said forget about it, but I already know when I'm going to get a word out of her head. She stands up, Destiny walks across the room, and starts saying, I want you to kneel down and tell her, you better hang yourself. Um, don't talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear it from her. I sigh and sit myself down. I don't tell her about her, but I have fun with everyone else. But she's supposed to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care for her? I'm letting my way down so much. Now yeah, it feels like I'm behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. <sighs> Silence. I'm gonna end that one there. That one's a 50 minute.